computer. Okay. Hello, this is Jeff Moy from the Harper College Makerspace and Entrepreneur Center. So uh, thank you for joining our activity, which is bring a mini vacuum bot to life. And this project was brought to you by Brown Dog Gadgets, and that's their web link. So uh, we're but so Joshua Zimmerman from Brown Dog Gadgets will actually be walking you through the, the activity today. And, uh, and I hope we'll be able to bring a lot more of his projects to life at, through our maker, maker space. You can find out, out about a lot more of our activities if you go to our website, which is harpercollege.edu slash maker, and also through our meetup.com sites, which uh, right now it's called Golden Corridor Makerspace at Harper College. So let me turn it over to Joshua. Joshua, do you need, the, do you need me to give you the screen? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that would be helpful. Thank you. Okay. okay, there you go. It should be now. Okay. Can everyone see me just fine now? All right. Okay. Great. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to go over this one, make sure. Uh, <laughs> good time. So we're going to make a little robot. We're actually going to switch to the overhead camera right now. There we go. And this is the little Roomba guy right here. I'm going to turn him on to show you what, what he should look like when he's going. Like a good little robot. <laughs> Although mine is spinning backwards. I've got a couple over here uh, on the table. So we're going to turn that guy off. There we go. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward project. There's a couple of things we have to make sure we've done to like prepping our project up before we start adding electronics to our robot. And we're first, really, I'm going to walk you through the electronics area, which is this section right here, electronics. And then you have to glue everything together when you're done with all this fun jazz. So perfect. So uh, first and foremost, let's double check. Does, it, do, uh, does everyone here have their stuff cut already? Their project cut out. So it should look kind of like, like this guy all cut out and just blank. Good. Get a thumbs up from people because uh, Kelly Moy, there you go. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, thanks for Thanks for being helpful. Yeah, everybody, thumbs up. I love when I get some good reactions. People watching this recorded, if you want to thumbs up the, uh, the video as well, I, just for the fun of it, go for it. So make sure this is all cut out. That's the big one, because cutting this out does take a little bit of time. Second thing, too, that people tend to forget to do is there's a spot that says here, cut slit right here. And you want to take an X-Acto knife or some other sort of uh, knife type object, it's just an X-Acto knife, and cut that out, because it's going to be important. And actually, this one here needs to be cut out, so I'm going to do that right now. Now, there's a bit of a gap. There's a little black area right there. We're actually making a gap to shove paper through there for our on and off switch, because we're going to do this. Make a switch that we can just insert, turn it on, and then pull out to turn it off. Pull tab, like we see many electronics. Exact same thing. But first and foremost, we've got to cut that slit open. Uh, and if you make it too big, it's actually better than too small. So I'm just going to do that with my little X-Acto knife here. And... It's more than just a slit. You kind of want to make like a very, very small rectangle. And if you're not exact, no big deal, because we can always add more tape into the mix to make it a little thicker on our, on our pull tab itself. So like the cutting of this project is by far the most difficult aspect of it. Everything else is just adding tape. So if I can get this out without cutting myself. I'm always very happy when I do that. It's a very healthy fear of exacto knives, as we all should. They are way sharper than you ever expect. And again, making it a little larger is better than making it a little small. So there we go. So I've got that slit right here. And other thing too is we've got two little holes right here for your LED legs to go through. If you want to use your exacto knife or a paper clip, um, or what not to do that, that's fine too. Depending on the type of paper you use, the LED legs should be just fine to poke through there. Um, but I always, I'm using thicker uh, paper for video production purposes. So you just wanna poke, I'm using a safety pin here to poke it through, but a paper clip works just fine. LED legs work just fine too most of the time for people. So I've done that. So I poked my, my two little holes here, made my slit right there. And then we're just gonna add some parts. So take your LED in your hands, this little guy right here. It's a little tiny red LED. Uh, there's, take a look at it, because there's a long leg and a short leg. And the long leg is the positive leg. And actually, they're labeled on the bottom here, long leg and short leg. And so we want to make sure you get that correct when you do this. It's not hard to fix, but it makes life easier when you get it right the first time. And I always, 
always mix, uh, mix that up. So once you kind of figure out which is long, which is short, poke your LED legs through the hole, the holes you've made there. And we're just gonna bend them down to these spots, these big dark lines here where a tape goes. And there you go. So next, we're gonna grab our motor. One of these, this little guy right here, this little self-sticking motor, sticky on one side. And we're just gonna make sure you got your little, your wires kind of out of the way here. Now it doesn't matter which wire we use, red and the, the blue. It doesn't matter which side they go to. It'll just either spin clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, LED does matter. We're gonna peel off the little back side of this guy right here, little sticky uh, side. And we're gonna stick the motor down to the spot that says motor. And if you don't get exactly right, that's okay because these wires are long, which makes life easy. And we're just gonna bend them off to the side here. Ta -da. So now you've got two of your three parts down and we're just gonna start adding some tape on. By the way, if you have any problems, you're like, no, Josh, something's wrong. Ah. Uh, raise your hand and we'll totally get to you. Cause that's, if you have problems, let me know while we're doing this so I can kind of stop. Uh, and get you. So we're going to actually do the, the easy side here first, which is the left side, the short leg, one wire, and below the battery. So the way this project actually works is our battery is going to go on top of the tape. There's a layer of tape that goes below the battery, and then some tape that goes on top of the battery. I'm going to get my battery out here for reference. And we're going to start with the bottom one first because it makes it way easier. So I just got a, st a strip of my maker tape right here. And I'm just going to start in the middle of my battery. I'm gonna go to the side and I'm gonna go down and then over the top of one of the wires and one of the LED legs. Now, if you're not a great folder, because I'm really good at right angle folds, you could just cut right here. Actually, no, I'm gonna do that with everybody because this is probably an easier route for people to go. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right here and stop. And then I'm gonna make another piece of tape like this. As long as they're overlapping, they'll be connected electronically. Oh yes. And then we're gonna make sure we layer this other one on top and just make sure that the tape goes over the top of the silver spot of the wire. So I've got my little blue wire on this side and just over the silver spot on the wire and then down and then over the short LED leg and I'm just gonna trim. So the tape is then over the top. I'm gonna zoom in here too to make life easy, maybe a little better. So we've gone over the short leg, over the end of the blue wire, the silver area of the blue wire, and then down over the top of this piece of tape I put right here. And then they're all connected electronically. And if for some reason like, oh no, I didn't quite get the wire right, you can always put the wire on top of the tape and put another piece of tape on top of that, just sandwich it on top of the tape. But uh, I like putting it under the tape makes things a little easier. Okay, so next step, guys and gals, is I'm gonna take a piece of tape. Doesn't have to be very long, maybe an inch or so. And I'm gonna take that tape. I'm gonna make a little tape loop. Probably done this before to put stuff on walls or on refrigerators. A little, I'll make a little loop of the conductive tape. Oops, if I could do this properly, I'd be, there we go, happier. Make a little tape loop. little tape loop. I'm gonna stick that down right here on top of the tape I already have. So I put the tape loop on top of this tape right here. I'm gonna take my battery and stick it on top of that uh, tape loop. So tape loop on top of the tape, battery on top of the tape loop with the words facing upward. That'd be the positive. Ah, there's the diagram. Ah, thanks Pete. My producer Pete's over here. He likes to throw things up on screen, but making this tape loop. It should be on the printout as well, I believe for the directions, yep, uh, tape loop. Ta-da! And it's also it's very helpful too, if you ever want to turn this, like replace the battery, you can always peel things off as well. Uh, the battery will die long before the tape does. So now comes the only quote unquote hard part of the project. Uh, with the, the tape, is getting the tape to go through the, the slit area right here. And I'm just gonna double check 
that I cut my slit wide enough, I'm gonna take a piece of this uh, leftover wax paper from my, uh, my other maker tape and just make sure it fits through that slot. And it does, it's more than a quarter inch wide. So that was just my little quick test. And I find it's helpful to just cut yourself a piece of tape. I'm gonna cut mine extra long just to so make it a little easier for my, my bigger hands. Cut a piece of tape and again, make sure it fits through there, yay. And we're gonna peel just a little bit of the tape off, not all, all the wax paper off, just a, like a half an inch or so. Just got a little piece right here. And I'm gonna feed that through the, uh, the slit we have. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna press it down on the, on the other side. So you can see right here, there's a little, little, bit of, little bit of tape right there. And that just helps it stick to that side. And then underneath, I'm gonna come down. I'm not gonna do a right angle fold here, but you can do two pieces if you want. Then up over the top of the battery. We've got through that little slit, just press down on the back side. And then down, and you can use two pieces or one piece, either way, down and over. Um, and we're gonna do the exact same thing for this aspect as well, for this run, except going the opposite direction, through the hole and then over the silver part of the wire, the end of the wire here and the uh, long leg of your LED. Just through the slit and then press down on the back side. There we go. And then it's over those two parts. Now, if your project doesn't do anything, that's a good thing at this point. If it should be doing nothing right now. If it's starting to vibrate or things are lighting up, uh, then the slit isn't big enough or they're touching. Basically, it's a gap in your circuit. This is your button, um, which will be, will fill in with a little, little pull tab. But so I've got my tape, a little bit of excess tape on the top here. And then I've got this. I'm gonna hold this up here, which you can maybe see a little better. But I, always, I find it helpful to go through the slit, press down the back and then over. Um, so the names of the red and the blue wire, and do they have to be specific? No, it doesn't shape? matter. Red and blue, it doesn't matter which half of the circuit they're on for red and blue. Um, it doesn't matter. It just, uh, like putting it on top instead of bottom, that's fine. Yep. Just as long as one, one wire is on this side and one wire is on this side. That's all that matters. You can flip it around, yeah. And the battery dot side down? Correct. Dots. Words in the battery should be facing up. So you wanna be able to, when you put it down, batter, the word should be facing you. Cause right now I can read the, the word Vinic on there, three volt lithium battery plus and the plus sign. Cause that's the plus side of the circuit. It makes it easier when the battery is up this way. Uh, also it has to be, that way so that the LED leg, the positive leg is over here, so positive is connecting this way. Positive up here, negative over here. Now, if you wanna to test to make sure everything works, just like, okay, is this working or not? I don't know before you get to the, uh, the pull tab thing. You can just take your, another piece of random maker tape and just kind of press it face down to bridge the gap right here and your LED will blink, the motor will vibrate very obviously to you. Uh, if you just press that, uh, put a piece of tape to just bridge that gap. But there's a much better way, that's what we have the pull tab for. And the pull tab is just, I think I have a pull tab made. Um, let me just grab, oh, I don't know. I should have pull tabs. Oh, I got pull tabs. So the pull tab itself is just a piece of, of scrap paper, which is actually on the directions. 
right here, this little, this little guy right here, we just put it on there for a good reference. You just fold it um, in half, like both ways along those two lines. And we're just gonna run tape um, just from one side to the other right here. So just a couple pieces of tape overlapping. Because then you can stick this through this hole and you can make your, uh, like this uh, pull tabs a bit large for, for this. So I'm just gonna stick the side in, but then it's clearly blinking and turning on. Before this, we were doing holiday cards, uh, live streaming holiday cards to uh, one of the other places we work with. So we had a bunch of holiday cards sitting up here too. Um, I know that we did a variation of this as well that was uh, that, uh, a candy cane and like a little, a little present as well. Um, but you can take this exact same approach, uh, same kind of materials and add them to say different shapes and designs to do different projects. Actually, I don't think it's over here. We had a, had a turkey as well for Thanksgiving, a, a cardboard or a little three-dimensional turkey project. Oh, oh, Pete cleaned up, that's why. Here, oh, here we go, thanks Pete. Uh, we actually, same exact kind of project, uh, just with a turkey. <laughs> so uh, the vibrating motor with this kind of basic circuit. And we actually have a pull tab on the back of the turkey as well. Um, to turn him on and off. So Kelly Moy, how are things going there for you? Going good, good, bad, so-so. Oh, good, yay, I'm happy to see that. Thumbs up, Kelly, thank you. And Natalie, thank you for asking a question. Now, once all this is put together, I will say uh, I always find um, using some hot glue is not a bad way of hooking these together or a bunch of like regular tape because you're trying to, to fold a circle, essentially. These guys are coming together. But I find even just a little, a couple little dabs of hot glue on a couple of these and then a bunch of tape on the inside. This one here we made, we actually just covered a lot of hot glue on the inside of here. But Elmer's glue just takes a while to dry. Uh, so maybe holding it for a little bit if you're doing that. But, or just do half of it with some glue and then hold or in tape and then the other half with some tape as well. You get it all together and you have yourself a little, a little robot that blinks. Oh, my LED is a little, little bent up there. Ah, should have done better, Pete. There we go. So that's how you make the little robot guy, the electronics. Again, the hardest part really is, is threading that tape, just put a little bit through that slit fold over on the back side, and then that's like the really the hardest part of the electronics is that. Um, but just always helps to kind of go through, fold over here, and then lay your tape down, and then do the other thing in the other direction. Jeffrey, do you have any questions as well? Only thing I want to say is that uh, thank you very much first, and that uh, you in your kit, you have a lot of extra maker tape. So please go uh, navigate over to the Brown Dog Gadgets website and you could find a lot more projects to make with that same tape. This, this actual thing is too, is right now we, we post a bunch of holiday things. We're trying to make up a bunch of different um, holiday crafts we just presented. And so we have just a bunch of stuff from different years, try to cover many different of these, this time of year, different holidays and cultures and events that are going on. So we just have a bunch of fun, different light up things. And I always like to tell people that maker tape, it's also really, really, really good on fabric. So if you wanna make something that lights up, that's wearable, even just a, a felt bracelet, or something like that. That's a good thing. Oh, Pete's gonna go. <laughs> we actually have like a bunch of demos from other live streams we've done recently. Ah, here we go. Thanks, Pete. These are all directions we have on our website. We actually do like a a no sew light up bracelet with it, which is much easier than actually than than the Roomba is. But you can say add this to a ugly Christmas shirt you have, uh, or a holiday shirt. You could add this to a fun decoration you make out of felt because felt's fun to work with. It's nice and soft. But this just kind of comes together, sticks, no sewing involved, and lights up. So there's a lot of fun things with that maker tape and does stick to pretty much anything, um, but also comes off really easily too from hard surfaces such as windows or doors. Uh, don't put it on things with paint. It may peel the paint off, uh, but it's easy to come off of stuff too. So we, we do like using it for a lot of different things and especially the holiday season because lots of good things to light up no matter uh, what 
family traditions you have. There's always something that lights up over uh, that December and the New Year's time zone uh, for stuff. So it's always nice to do. So we try to have a lot of different things on our website. And that tape is great. If you have just, you just uh, see our 2032 batteries, if you need more of these, you can find these. Dollar Tree is a good place. You need some on the, on the cheap. Dollar Tree, uh, which you know is everywhere here in the Midwest. You can get like three of these for a dollar, which is pretty darn inexpensive. Um, and you don't want the really nice ones anyway. And then LEDs, you can just get those from a wide variety of places as well. Um, we always recommend using the big jumbo 10 millimeter ones. They're way more fun than the small ones. The one you have uh, in this kit is a five millimeter because it's naturally blinking, um, which I love because it blinks like a robot would blink if it's on. Uh, but I like using the big, big, big ones like these for other crafty things the holiday season just because they look really fun. They look like gumdrops too. So if you're doing something like gingerbread housey, they're gumdrop size. So they work well with actual gumdrops uh, unless you eat them all. Gumdrops, not the LEDs. So that's it. Uh, unless anybody has any questions, Natalie, Kelly. Now, hey, well, thank you for watching. I hope people who are watching this recorded um, can do this. Otherwise, feel free to email us um, about questions you might have. We're always happy to help out. Uh, especially when you send us a photo of what you've made. Like, hey, it's not working, send me a photo. Uh, but should hopefully work well for you because this is one of our more popular things we do and it works pretty well as long as you can uh, glue or tape the inside of here. But why we're not done yet? That's okay, you don't have Natalie, to Natalie, that's okay. You have, Natalie, as much time as you need to make that, Natalie, as much time as you need today. Yeah, um, let's see, just the demonstration so you, so you can watch somebody go through it. So. Anyways. Yeah, you seem like a very competent person, so I'm not worried about you. You'll be fine. <laughs> she's, she's fairly technical. <laughs> so again, Joshua and Brown Dog Gadgets, uh, thank you very much for your time today and all your creative projects. And I'm sure we'll be working together and offering a lot more of your kits and projects in the future. So. Sure thing. You guys have a good afternoon and evening. Actually, yeah, it's almost five o'clock, so have a good evening. Uh, thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Uh, so everyone, yes, please, Pete. Thank you for joining. So, uh, if you have any questions you want later about the project, you can always reach out to me too. You know, so that's that'd be But fine. like, can we not leave because I'm not done with this? You don't have to yet? be done. You don't have to. You don't have to be done. No, you can do anything. No, I mean like leaving the session. Oh, you want to stay on here a little longer to yes to get some help. I, I could I could hang on a little bit longer, but nobody else yeah, has to. It shouldn't be long. Hold on. Okay. No one else needs to stay on if they don't want to, or you can if you want to. So, like, put the tape on over here first before you Let do the Let me stop the recording first.